that he doesn't want anybody to see. Hey, and now, look, he looks just Louis like C. Louis C.K. How did that happen? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Erod <laughs> has changed himself into Louis C.K., apparently. Hey, hello. Hi, Louis. We're just in the middle of Iraq uh, wearing that hat, he, he, and it only means uh, that he did something fucked he, up to his hair. He's hiding something underneath oh. that hat. He's he still thinks he's at that age and where, and and stuff yeah. where he can like like where there's any qualitative difference between how he looks. Yeah, you know? yeah, like highlight his hair or something. Right. It's like no, nah, no. Nah. move uh, closer to the to the guys here. Move yeah, your whole. We want to what did you do to your Why? hair? We don't know, but you know, it's obvious. Yeah, we don't know what he did. He he, he didn't even bring it up. Sam is the instigator that came in and went. Ah, oh, guys, just want to let you know. He's wearing he has to he has to take his hat off. And sounds like the little busybody. Right. He's got to be a little rat. All right, let's see what I don't know got. what else Sam could be doing besides this. No, nah, nah, I know. <laughs> I, I know. He could be like a prison informant kind of a guy yeah, that winds up it. getting fucking killed. That's he it. He'd yeah. have made a good one of those trustees in the fucking uh, yeah. the ghetto Looking at over his, there. And, uh, you know what? Actually, yeah. I, my sister works for a software company, and she says it's the whole place. No one's working. Everyone's just trying to fuck each other. Just <laughs> I mean, you know, like trying to get each other yeah, fired. Yeah. Get each other yeah. fired to, to move anybody's the... ever. There's barely any software going on at all. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Did you see the Apple documentary? They did a documentary about Apple, but it was all ex-Apple employees, and they're like, there's one guy, he's like, everybody thinks Apple's all cute with their quirky little commercials. Oh, he's no. like, it is the most cutthroat, fucking evil. Oh, shit. Of course yeah. rotten. Yeah. should be to be I that nice. Calm down and let right. the headliners talk. Shit. 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 Also, with his hair. Mike Wells is coming in. He also... <laughs> <laughs> got me there. Uh, All right, Rick. You he did. Have he did. Don't that, quit so. fucking teaming up you. with Joe, okay? All right, let's go. Uh, let's get this over. Because we got right, yeah, Louis C.K. A in studio. Well, bit here. No, Explain. I, I haven't uh, done anything to my hair in many, many oh, years. Oh, God. This is going to be really uncomfortable for everybody. Did and, you say or his body? Um, I thought... Uh, that, uh, you know, since it went over so well after my last vacation using oh, Sun no. In. You used oh, Sun In so and high, yeah, you had yeah. highlights in your hair. So I figured I'd go all in and oh, do a complete my God, change. No, no, oh, my no. God. No, oh, we're no. going to be oh. so uncomfortable. Oh, no. What are they doing? <laughs> all right. Oh, no. God. You want to take a guess? Oh, no. I want to see, see I'll the let the uh, Pound oh, people no. see this, too. It, um, I pray it's at least blonde. I think he may have. He may have shaved it. What do you think? No, I it's think winter. He dyed it. it looks think... shaved because I don't see a lot of lumps. Yeah, a lot of lumps. <laughs> I think he fucking dyed it. I think he fucking went to see Billy Burr or something, dyed his hair red. Watch. It's going to be my Let's hair. go. Let's get this over. Yeah. I think it's a sh it's something with a razor. You Can we, wait, should we bet on this? No. Cut or color? Let's fucking see. Yeah, let's right. Is it, is right. it a cut I'm and color? Stretch this shit out. It's cut. <laughs> it might be right. on the sort of sides more shaved. What is he, the 1980s? Like kid and play? Uh, it's got a, a lightning bolt, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Iraq. Right. Uh, let's yeah, let's un unveil this. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh no! Oh, it's oh, it's oh, bad, no. Richie Rich. No. Oh, my <laughs> God. He looks like in Fargo, oh, the no. guy that fucking... Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's the guy in Fargo Richie, that Jesus. shot Buscemi we in the We go back. to Pancake's house. Right, no. Jesus. <laughs> We go like to pancakes, pancakes, you know. Oh you know. my god! Yeah, like you know. pancakes, you what know. was that product called? Come in, you fucking <laughs> queer. <laughs> oh, <wow>. Dude, that <laughs> is that's fucking doing, blondy man? blonde hair. That's, gay porn. that's like the dude that's from, gay porn hair. Right? That's the dude from Fight Club. <laughs> oh man, yeah, the dude from Fight that's Club. That's the dude from oh, Fight Club, god. man. Like gets... Vanilla Ice if he was stung by a hornet's nest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Hey, Roland, hey, not, what do you think? hey, not Slim Shady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> it's Vanilla do? Icebox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you're out. What did you do? What the fuck is wrong? Dennis the cunt. <laughs> Oh, that's awful. He looks oh, like Shane no. Reynolds uh, oh, when he played uh, yeah. in, in the playoffs. Roland, grab a mic. What do you uh, think? That's bad. Oh, man. Roland's loving this. I'm sad. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that, man. What, what are you doing? I, actually, wow. I'm not gonna, I well, think Jesus, it looks good. Hero. When I had it done, true. it was pure white. And then I it, over the... Well, it's, it's, not, it's, not, much the, it's, it's really not much better. It's not much better. Uh, <laughs> Someone goes, wow, Billy Idol got fat. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. I'm going to take a picture oh. of this. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is what it used to look like five days ago. This is what it looked like. What do you mean five uh, days ago? Right? Where have we been? All right, it's lighter, but it looks the same. It's uh, horrible. Man, what did you do? <laughs> that is really, really...
Blonde. How old are you? (laughs) 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 What is part of a person's life does he do shit like that? You live alone, right? No, I'm married. You're You're married? Why didn't you you do your eyebrows so it matches a little? Okay, I kind of get it. (laughs) What did you (laughs) wear? You're married? Why not? (laughs) Yeah, just uh, fuck it. But he's a... Fuck you on your forehead in the morning. It hasn't been 20 years. You, like, just got married. That doesn't take long. That is really bright. It's gelled really, already. It's a bright blonde, man. Oh. <laughs> How old are you? Seriously. 33. Louis is just like, oh, God. I, uh, I, I kind of like it. Can we ask why? <sighs> I, I, I had talked for a while, and Sam knows this on, on his show, that, that I wanted to recolor my hair again. I haven't done it in so many years, but this is going to be like a one and done. No. Yeah, you'll, you'll do it again. coloring it. Oh. Oh wow! Well, once, you know once is I, I enough. I think I figured it out. Cause you look at that, and it takes away from you looking at the rest of him. Like, <laughs> you think that's you, it? Yeah, it's it's diverting attention. Does the wife I don't remember like what it? he looked like before? Really, his hair really like really it. dark. Yeah. His hair was just just nothing, mousy. right? Just whatever. Yeah. Oh no, that's his inside. <laughs> yeah. What did your wife say? She uh, it took her a little while, but she, that means she, she hates it. it. Oh, like she it, likes yeah. it, but she has no choice. I went She's to her hairstylist and had it done. Yeah. I got to admit, you, he you went too? to his hairstylist? Her, yes. Oh, man. You that's much somebody? worse. <laughs> this is like something you do in the sink because you're in a weird mood. If you actually went yeah. and <laughs> got foil in your hair and read a fucking glamour magazine. <laughs> the, Jesus. That's uh, a lot. Uh, with the uh, cotton uh, between uh, his that's toes. you wanted to be on the air. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, and he gets on the air a lot. That's yeah. the strange mm-hmm. part, man. Hey, Danny, you see this? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta admit, as I stare, it it, it like it it does kind of look better. I kind of yeah. Like the more I look at it, the more it, I'm like, yeah, it, it just looks like look one of those. If he was, uh, if you ask me, if he was, hey, if he was wanted, and they did one of those, you know, var- variety headshots, <laughs> <where> <laughs> yeah. different ways he might look. Yeah, yeah. Might, yeah. And you, you're too fucking fun. <laughs> 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 That's a fight club. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Looks like the fight club kid. All right. Well, you're oh, right. Yeah. It's Pony Boy. Well, uh, oh, 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 that's hilarious. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, did your friend, boy. Did your friend die in a fire. <laughs> oh, stay it's, fat, Pony Boy. Stay <laughs> fat. <laughs> stay golden arches. <laughs> 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 I think Eric's say, sad. Hey, uh, Eric's sad. He's a stable yeah. boy. Why is he sad? Uh, <laughs> we can see in his eyes. He's not smiling Jerry, a lot. He's standing at a Jerry fucking microphone and saying, yeah. please, <laughs> please shit all over me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Uh, it's like feeling bad for your toilet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I shit in you? That's, I should have shit in the sink. Uh, <laughs> giving you a break oh for the day. Oh, my God. Are you sad, E-Rock? No. It goes with his new no, name, fine. Sexy. Sexy. He's taking this really seriously, the sexy mm-hmm. thing. You get your pubes done? Oh, no. no. Oh, God. No, boy. When you wear your hat like that, you look like Robin Williams and Popeye. With the fucking <laughs> <laughs> the little blonde <laughs> hair now. Oh, I got fats. I loves me cream spinach. We could see. All right, well, there's the big reveal. Uh, I can imagine he looks like a professional wrestler now. Yeah, yeah. he's going for the wrestling thing. Bulk Hogan, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still real to me. <laughs> what you need to see is when he gets sweaty. If he works, if he exerts himself, and the face turns red, that's what that's supposed to look like. Oh yeah, the red yeah. face <laughs> and the blonde, bleach blonde. That's the porn look. Yeah, yeah, the, the money shot look. Yeah, yeah, that does look porn <gasps> star. Yeah. Did you think for two seconds that it might look a little gay? Oh yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, go- yeah, this yeah. goes with a clean-shaven cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this goes with. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, body, like, you spray on tan. Yeah. Dude, that would look good on the beach. People will walk by and go, look at that sand dune with blonde hair. <laughs> Okay, they're not all good. I had four good ones. Oh, that was a little long, too. Four out of pretty five. Lengthy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was pretty lengthy. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It was. <laughs> it was. I'm sorry. You're right. Maybe you're laying on a beach and somebody walks by and goes, look at that cock and balls with blonde hair. Oh, oh, what would a beach have to do with that, yeah, Rich? Yeah. Enough so, about the beach. All right, I'm just <laughs> throwing them out, you know, whatever sticks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you go. 
Uh, we do have to take a break because we have, Louis, it, we have not holiday go live reads. We're not going over this again, mm. but I guarantee what, what, what we did with the podcast, he would have been on my side. Well, uh, all I'm right, not, we'll explain next. No, no, we don't want to do it next. Well, you no. brought it up, so now we have no. to. I'm just. Oh. Can, he, he's curious, so we'll do uh, a short version of it next. All right? CD on iTunes. Pick yeah. it up today. I'm not fucking Louis around. C, fuck you, LouisCK.com new special. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I talk saw $5. that. Yeah, I want to talk. We're going to talk shit. about that I next. I saw that okay, okay, beacon thing. Before people get to work. All right. Still empty inside. Actually Rich Foss's CD. <laughs> oh, good, yeah. We're going to talk to Louis C.K. next. The Opie and Anthony Show. The Opie and Anthony Show. Serious XM. We got the gang in today. Uh, Rich Voss. His C- CD is uh, still empty inside, available on iTunes, and his uh, My Wife Hates Me podcast, available at riotcast.com. Then we move on to Joe DeRosa, who's going to be at Caroline's, what, tomorrow, Joe? Yeah, tomorrow, Thursday, and Sunday of this week, I'm going to be there, three shows. Please come out. It's my first time doing headline spots there, and I you know, I hope the shows are good. I want and them to be good. All the and, smashing we do, and, Joe is and, funny. All right, yes. Rich. And uh, the promo. <laughs> That's why he got Thursday all right, and Rich. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be in here if it wasn't funny. <laughs> Let it be known, we only have funny guys on the show. So Thank you. Uh, the promo code, though, because the, the oh. listeners could save fucking money. O and A. Yeah, and it's spelled O-A-N-D-A. If you give that promo code on the website or when you call, you get a discounted ticket. So uh, come out, O&A fans. Let's a have a big good time. discount, man. Yeah. Save like one. eight bucks on the ticket. Yeah. Ten dollars to see Joe DeRosa if you use that promo code. And then, of course, we move on to Louis C.K., who's setting the world on fire. With this fucking uh, live the beacon thing, man. This is every comic is going to do this. It's doing pretty good. I think it is, right? I'm not telling anybody how much I'm making. I, right, right. I want to so, know so bad. Well, don't say it. Not a peep. You're, well, you're hiding it well with your clothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know. Well, that's smart. That's how you do this. Keep the shit. money. No, I'm like one of those beggars that stands outside, and you know he's got a Mercedes. Oh somewhere. yeah, yeah. They just that's exactly what I'm doing. When the news <laughs> follows him to their uh, apartment. Let me, let me say this: When I you know. learned that Louis was doing this, I'm like, holy fuck! Every comic in America is going to do this. This well, is the this is brilliant. It's the way to do this. You know to to move. Forward. Well, the special has to be good. Obviously. And, uh, well, that's and also, true. You have, I mean, I have a lot of skill sets that help me do this. I produced it and directed it myself. Right. I know how to put something like this together. Right. And the company that does my that I have that does my show, I just had them. We just did accomplish too much at once. Right. They're like, don't just have them buy it. Tell them about 50 other things. Get right. their email address, all this, make them join, like force all this shit down your throat. Yeah. And then they jack the price up. Right. So... I made it five bucks, and you don't like e- every detail we went through with me and the website guy, like where it says opt in to the email ad, like that gives you a choice. Do you want to get emails or not? Uh, yes is always pre clicked for you, but we pre click no. And it, oh. says, it says no, leave me alone forever, you fat idiot. That, <laughs> that's that's a choice. Yeah, that's good. And that's clicked. So you have yeah. to click yes. Oh, and very good. Most people do. Oh, you're not going to get seventy like percent of the people click. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. And I was yeah. reading an article on, uh, you know, you're, yeah. you're telling people don't, don't fucking steal this thing. Yeah. Also, the I, file, I, I, the I like, video was easy to steal because it's nothing. Right. There's nothing on it. Right. It's like something I, you know, I just put it out of my computer and it, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. You're there's very no trusted. DRM on it. There's no anti-piracy. There's no regional. You can get it in anywhere in the world. It's uh, it on a DVD. Why'd you do it's the that? honor system. Why'd you do that? Just to make it even easier? <laughs> to to make it a better product. It's like, you know, if you what, if, if you made like a nice, um, I don't know, product, like, uh, you know, a nice waffle iron, and mm-hmm. then you have a big lock on it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but don't use it. Right. Yeah, it's like the but, no bouncer at the bar mentality. But, but yeah. yeah, they know it's a nice no, place. No, I get it. But the <laughs> other side of that, and I want Louis to explain, yeah. is that people can now just steal it and fucking do all sorts they of shit They can, and uh, all I did was ask him not to. I, I know. I said, please don't do that. Uh, I'm just a guy. Right. And it's and are, are they? Bucks. It's five dollars. I close the I close the gap from stealing to honesty to be so small. But yes, are, are they, right. That's... But are they listening to you and they're not stealing it, right? Uh, well, so far there is one guy that put it up on Torrent, and he's here's the, I I learned so much from this already. This guy put it up on Torrent, and he's getting hammered by people saying, like, some people are saying this has this has bad quality, like, as a, and it's not true. Oh, so they're so just, they're yeah. trying to stop him. So the people don't And he wrote it. this explanation saying, well, you know, hey, you got to understand, I'm really sorry, like, I feel kind of bad for doing this, but, you know, if we don't have Torrent, then we can't afford anything, and Torrent's help the artist. Oh. The funny thing, though, is that if it pains him at all, he's not stealing it, he's making it available for stealing. Yeah. 
So if it pains him at all, why is it? Why does he do it? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. But the reason he's doing it is because he has a bunch of videos and stuff. He's got his own career, so he's trying to promote. He's using my thing as a magnet. That if you yeah, then people go to his him, thing and go and to his thing the and buy shit. his stuff. And I'm sure if somebody pirated his thing, he'd be like, hey, hey, what what the the fuck? Fuck? Yeah. So that's actually the main. I'm learning that the one of the main reasons that people pirate stuff, like on YouTube, when people post stuff. Like when it first went up, like twenty, there were twenty videos on YouTube of it, and they were all coming from the same guy who's selling stuff. He's trying to draw right. people to his channel. So people mostly use, it's ve- not, it's very few people that are just like, geez, I really can't afford it. Right. I got, I, I got mm-hmm. to. They're using it to market their own shit. That's right. Yeah. Most of the people that um, want would have torrented it. Not. Do you torrent? No. Do you, I don't know how to do it. Even. I got guys down the hall that just steal shit for me. Yeah. <laughs> So and, and you know what we said earlier, Lou? Yeah. When when an artist wants fifty dollars for something like that, mm-hmm. fuck it, I'll steal it. I'll be completely honest with you. But right. when you're dropping the price to five bucks, five bucks is then it's like you know what? I'm not going to steal for five bucks. Five bucks for something that nobody has seen yet. Right. Like yeah. it's right. not a bargain bin right. at Walmart. It's, it's brand new it's stuff. Brand new. Yep. But and you know when an artist is taking advantage or, uh, advantage of the consumer, and then mm-hmm. I, I swear to you, I'll be honest, I don't feel guilty when right. I when well, I get a free copy here and there. Well, it's generally not the artist; it's the it's, it's well, these, uh, true. It's the, yeah. it's the corporation. This is what I was talking about this on Reddit. This thing that I only discovered it exists yesterday, and I was on it for like a day. Smut on that one. Too. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Reddit Reddit could get your shit to go viral though. Yes, They're but somebody powerful. was asking me about the piracy thing, and and um. Why it's okay when people feel like it's okay to steal? Uh, I read I read this thing that Noam Chomsky said, a very smart liberal asshole guy. I'm just saying asshole for your benefit. <laughs> Thank you. Sir. Uh, I think he's a great guy. But uh, he said that uh, corporations are like um, superhuman. They're they're like because they never die. They're immortal, mm-hmm. and they can't be put in jail. Uh, they can't be murdered. They can't be hurt. Uh, they can't be held accountable. Uh, they can't, you know, all this stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's what they get when they make a corporation. But then the things they also have to deal mm-hmm. with is nobody has any sympathy for you. Right. Nobody <laughs> likes you. Nobody <laughs> trusts you. Uh, it's like nobody the feels em- empathy. Like I should be mm-hmm. nice to this. Mm-hmm. It's a fucking corporation. So if you want to make something that infallible, it's also going to be, you know, some people going to fuck you. I'm taking sure. Oh, yeah. Fuck. If I can sell a lot of CDs, I'll become a corporation. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> well, that's but to you... me also, I make enough. There's a yeah. level where I think that's enough money for me personally. I can make that decision. A corporation can't do that. They have. They you literally, if you're the head of a company, you would go to jail for not are, fleecing the public. Are you, every penny <laughs> that you are you officially the first one to do this? You have to be at this level. I yeah, think of I course. Am, as a comedian, and I didn't mean and, to downplay it earlier because you're right. Uh-huh. I mean, you got to have you got to have a, a a good act for this to work. Because a lot of guys are going to try what you're doing and right. they're going to fail miserably. The second I heard it. That my wife said she was reading, and Louie's doing this for five dollars. Right. I go, how can we do this with my CD for four? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, where they just click a button. Yeah. And and I go, and then I just said, fucking did what? iTunes, but it's fucking brilliant because I, I mean, well, we it's also smart because you're not going to go to every market, so now these people get a, a nice chance to see a really good Louis C.K. show. Yeah. Holy and fuck. you can't because this material isn't ever going to be. I only did it for two months right. to get it ready. Mm. And then I dumped it. And now you're so done with it. So this is the only way you can really see right, it. Exactly. Only people like in Raleigh, North Carolina, and North, wherever the hell I went, Richmond, right. Virginia, those people saw it live. Right. Yeah. And it's gone. Yeah. So it's fucking funny, man. I'm on to other I stuff. Ju- I just saw. I was at the tape uh, like it's two amazing. nights ago. Yeah. Fucking hilarious. That was a fun really show. Good. That's. I mean, I did it now because I, I thought I had the show to to do it. Right. Um, but it is sort of like, as far as anyone can do it, it's like Steve Martin's bit where he goes, "I'm going to teach you how to ha- how to get a million dollars and not pay taxes." First, get a million dollars. That's what you do. Right. So you have to, you know. But everybody can do it on some level. Getting yeah. it shot. Most comedians don't know how to completely, you know, ground up. I saved an enormous mm. amount by being able to do that myself. Yeah. And I still shot it on red cinematic cameras, and it still yeah, looks it looks great. great. Yeah. Yeah, but you're gonna have guys just set up a dumb camera, you know, one shot. Sure. And do the exact same um, thing. They'll you get you know. in the basement. <laughs> Uh, it's only five bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why do you complain? It's only five. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, no, it's, it's, it's no, it was shot like an HBO special. Simple as that. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's, it's how many great. cameras? Three? Uh, six cameras. 
Holy it's fuck. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's just feeling like I've seen six cameras in my whole life. Usually <laughs> you need a whole truck and yeah. you need a director to switch between the cameras. Yeah. But because I know how to do this stuff, I, I just shot it on six different cards. The cameras shoot onto cards. Yeah. Dump the cards onto my computer at home, and then I edited it. Then you just yeah. fucking pull Brilliant. everything that's, up that's and put all it together. And, yeah. that, that replaced, that That literally saved me about $100,000. It would have been, been awkward Brilliant. you being on stage gone, go to three. <laughs> uh, but yes, bring he's up the five. Only, ready to go take to five, two. Take two. You yeah. would probably be able to pull that off. That's the scary part. <laughs> As he's doing yeah. his show. Louis, yeah. Louis's the only, literally... And I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. You're the only guy <laughs> at your level in this business that's sort of Loves showing. Everything? Well, yeah, and showing us the way that it can be done because everybody doing the kind of shit that Louie's doing right now is doing it. I'm not saying the special idea. I'm just saying the I'm going to be a one stop shop. It's all guys trying to work our way up and punch up to where you're at. And it's so fucking refreshing to see a guy at your level go. Fuck the labels, fuck the whatever. I'm gonna just do this myself. Well, it is a better you know, road. It is a better know? road for you guys, for yeah. the young guys. Oh, it's mm. a better way to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's nice that means because that... otherwise you're waiting for some fucking company yeah. to give you permission to have an audience, and they decide how you do it. They have the wrong instincts too. <laughs> like some people think, well, they're led by greed, so they make you do something really, uh, something really broad and uh, broad appeal. Well, were that they would. Like <laughs> if only these people were like at least. Uh, greedy and smart, but they just don't know. They don't right. understand right. what people want. And also, don't, let's not right. forget, don't know what fucking funny is especially. No, no. Yeah. And let's not, not forget, all, they're no. also going to edit your shit and take yeah, out stuff and, and, and take out stuff you really want in there. Yes, well, you know it's, it's, the six, you know it works. The six yep. cameras, well, I don't understand because I didn't yeah. see it. My wife One more than five. Billy's, Billy's special, right? Uh -huh. And it was just him with no audience <laughs> shots. Yeah. So you could do that. When you don't need six cameras it's just to do you with no audience shots, right? No, you, well, you need the different angles to keep so, the thing so moving. So you have cutting off. I'm just asking. I don't know cameras. how to do it. Good. And Rich, also stop trying to figure out how to do this cheaper Thank you. for the, yourself. The Jew is trying to figure out how he <laughs> can do it with two cameras. By the way, you could go and get, if you get whatever, there's probably somewhere that you can fill a decent room twice. You need yeah. to do two. Of course. This yeah. is how you do it. Whatever town <laughs> not, yeah. you are the most popular in. Poughkeepsie. You stay. Sure. <laughs> on Wednesday, there, by the way, Saturday, there's a little there's a theater in Poughkeepsie. That's a beautiful yeah. old theater. There's a Tarrytown. There's an yeah, opera done, house. Yeah. Okay. So I you go to one of these towns. You stay away from it for a year while you develop yeah. the material. And then you book it for two shows. And you fill them up. Not with Comedy Central actually pays to have an audience there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they're just morons that they pay. They're not to your be there. audience. Well, wait, wait, I've been wait. to a yeah. million of those and they're oh, yeah. lining up because it's a free comedy show. It's like, you I've never seen any of these people in my life. Yeah. Set up yeah. Yeah. Don't tell me this. Tell him. You pay, you pay, uh, <laughs> you pay for the, you, you use the ticket money. By the way, I, and, the only thing I did to pay for this thing was tell the jokes. And, and I, you just Jeez. got me excited because I've been to so many of these Comedy Central tapings. And they don't give a fuck if it's Joe DeRosa's audience. They're looking for people that just look good. Yeah, they also so, try to so get it's like graphics. they got to yeah. get the females, they got to get the Asians, they Listen. got to get the blacks. They don't give a fuck if any of these people well, ever heard of Joe. DeRosa. That's a, a lot of women comedy. in the audience because they want to get more women to watch Comedy Central, Holy and they yeah, sit there kind of shit. grimacing, even on the camera shots. They yeah. even use yeah, it in the footage. Yeah. Of a woman looking up at a comic like yeah. ew, uh, well, that's, uh, that's really and then, helping. And then they spend, <laughs> they light the fuck out yeah. of the room so you can see the audience. And I, the, yeah. the problem with comedy and lighting, if you're in the dark, you laugh at anything because yep. you know you're anonymous. But when you're lit up and everyone can see you, you're inhibited. You don't you're gonna, laugh. You're going to choose what you feel like yep. laughing at. And the other thing is, then they take probably close to an hour moving everybody around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's the it's, perfect audience. Yeah, it's like, and I feel bad for you guys. I'm like, this isn't uh, Joe's audience, no. Rich's audience, whatever. No. He's, so on, on this show, we just filled it up, 2,500 people. people. My people who paid money to see the show, and that money paid for the production. Right. Did they know so that the, you the, were the ticket money paid right. for everything. Did, you know, did they know you were filming for a special? I, when I put it on sale, they didn't. Didn't. I don't even know if we didn't make a thing out of it. We yeah. didn't have a warm-up guy go, listen, you really yeah. got to go crazy <laughs> well, when worst. he comes out, because otherwise it'll be sad. <laughs> 
<laughs> warm up guy. I didn't even have an opener. I just walked out on yeah, stage walk out. before I, I, people were done huh? sitting. I was in the audience, and all of a sudden Lou just walks out, and and he goes, "No, this is it. The show's starting." People are like, "What? I, here I'm it still is. getting my beer." We're no, this starting. is it. I'm starting yeah. right now. That's, when you're doing comedy on the road, I loved it. The host thinks that he's got to get the crowd all crazy. Are you ever, uh, it's not a fucking rodeo. No, it doesn't they, make them a better audience. Just even in in a club. Hey, no. you ready for your look? I hate say, when I'm told fucking... that we didn't cheer good enough the first time. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you ready to laugh yeah. tonight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have. Yeah, I said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> like, look, fucking, don't fucking try to pull. It's backwards. Oh. You're supposed to entertain me so much right. that I go crazy. Right. You feel it's yeah. Yeah. I'm supposed to go so crazy that you entertain that's, me. Yeah. You feel exhausted <laughs> before the comic even comes out. I feel exhausted. That's but that's what's so great again about seeing a guy in your position do this because like what Opie was saying about the the the, spe the standard special audiences mm -hmm. they'll put somebody like me on a special and they'll pay the audience and you'll be king for a day it doesn't <laughs> fucking do day. anything no, it, doesn't. Doesn't. Fuck it does nothing you know that and it's like it's like i was just at a club this weekend and i'm standing in the back and they go give it up for your headliner joe de rosa and the 30 percent applause oh, of people that actually knew who i was and I'm literally screaming, they don't give a shit. Yeah, they hate when they yeah. do that during the intros. No. They and here's the other, yeah. thing. Here's the other thing with intros, too. You don't, listen, uh, enough with the credit. Nobody gives a fuck. They want you to be funny. Oh, where well, they've been seen. Yeah. Well, you might have recognized. Well, I like the ones that know, forever ago. <laughs> for, for Joe, <laughs> you'll say you might recognize him if you were in the lobby before the show. But He's done he the Tonight like, Show with, with yeah, Jack yeah, Parr. Who gives how a fuck? Uh, yeah. how, about sitting, how about sitting in... How about sitting in Caroline's and a comic is using us in their credits? And I'm looking at the stage <laughs> like, know, maybe we I mentioned his name it. once. I don't yeah. know this guy. I don't know yeah. this guy. And I'm a credit credits if they're using you. That's true. As far as as far as the people not stealing the stuff, part of it is like an ongoing thing because I'm going to keep selling stuff this way. And when I go on tour next, I'm going to try to sell the tickets through my website. So and you need the help of your audience because you're basically telling them, look, if you help me out, I can, then I can more bring these. everything down. So And that will make them attack, which yeah, I like. Yeah, because last time I toured, I what I made on a month of touring to get up to this thing, I was surprised. I didn't know I was make, making that much. And I'm looking at what my tickets are. I always keep them low. Yeah. I'm making enough money. I don't need to make per show. I don't need to make more money. So to me, the only direction for things to go – that for me is for the audience to pay less. Right. The less they can pay, the, the better. Right. Because I'm fucking fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, I'm looking at everything. Like, the two things that are killing the audience are um, the ticket services, yeah. uh, premium charges, and uh, the uh, the scalpers. When did yeah. you? When um, I yeah. got I got it. Sorry to interrupt. I, yeah. I got to ask you because you, you said it. When did you become fine? Because we watched it happen. You exploded. Well, my, uh, my version. I get to decide when I'm fine. So like I'm not right. rich. Right. I'm not. But I'm, support, I'm oh. supporting myself at a level that I like. <laughs> but, and when I go on the road, I'm able to travel comfortably. Um, but I don't have a fortune or. A but it went from like. You had a two-year period where it just exploded, yeah, right? Yeah, I, the last, the last, uh, last couple of years have been really good, especially this year. Which, I, well, I like how you're saying the special too. That like, hey, this is going to be over real soon. Just you yeah, know, I'm not, I'm not you. No, I'm not, not like you. I'm not like you <laughs> That's at all. Hilarious. <laughs> but uh, but when when this, the way I look at it, the thing I'm obsessing now is with is keep getting the price down because also that, like. Like Ticketmaster, if I put a, a, a ticket on sale for thirty bucks, like I could probably get like fifty bucks ticket in mm -hmm. a lot of markets or more. A lot of people, Kathy Griffin charges fifty bucks in some place. Like I always look at those things and try sure. to stay under her. Like I try to stay somewhat uh, under tickets <laughs> of somebody I could probably pay charge more than. That's my goal. Right. Oh, okay. But here's what happens. First of all, like my ticket's thirty dollars. Ticketmaster makes it up to like sometimes fifty five bucks. Like it's almost it's twice as crazy. much. And then. If I drop the tickets too low, they get bought by StubHub in larger bulk because it's a cheaper investment for them. Uh, so the fans up, end up paying more money. And I don't, I just, when I buy a Ticketmaster ticket and there's a StubHub ad on the back of it, there's just no way these people aren't fucking helping each other. That like, there's gotta be some synergy between those companies so that really the same people are getting the money. So, this next time I tour, 
I want, I'm going to not use, I'm going to try not to use ticket services and sell the tickets the same way I'm selling this DVD. I can pilot fish. And drop, drop Sitting the price there. down to like fucking 20 bucks. Well, here, That's and then cool. we'll, you'll have to go to the theater to get the tickets. No fucking, so that it'll be impossible. Aren't a lot of the theaters in, scalp. Co- in cahoots with, uh, they all are. So there'll be a lot of, there'll, some places are ticket master only buildings. Right. And when I uh, when I'm in a city like that that has that I'll have to do another you know like if I'm in a city I can't I won't be able to play the three thousand seat theater if it's a Ticketmaster room I'll have to pay play the fifteen hundred twice. Are you like, worried hey, about better, dude? Are you worried about being blackballed though? <laughs> uh, Somehow, yeah. Yeah, all of it scares the shit out of me, but yeah, I, it's does, exciting right? at forty four to get to be scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good feeling. At that and level, this thing, at I'm that level, yeah. at that level he, you can't black at that level. He can always work somewhere and, and make. Well, the money. I don't know That's what right. other well, connections also, they have. Here's the thing, if also, you're, the 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 pot the the thing I just put up this DVD. The, I'm creating a a place now. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and so, and I've got a list of people. They all opted in because I gave them a choice. <laughs> and so when I go on the road, I can tell people where I'm going. And if they come to my website, to then the, anybody who's buying the video for five bucks now is investing in the ability. And it's only, look, it's, in the bottom, it's just me telling jokes. So it's not like I'm... <laughs> Fucking give them anything else. You're not going to get like a DVD it's, player. Yeah. It's just my next joke. It's a bar. But, it's... but next time I go on the road, I will be able to charge. If I created this framework, it'll give me a place. Now, with the video, I was able to avoid AMC Records and Warner Brothers and Comedy Central and all this stuff. So maybe I can step aside from Ticketmaster. It's hard. It's not mm. easy to do. Are you going to get the same audience watching it? I think so. In numbers, I mean, I mean numbers. We'll see. I don't, you mean watching this one? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, compared to what you've done with HBO and Comedy Central, you know, co- uh, comedy specials don't comedy specials don't have a great place to be. There's thousands mm. of them on Comedy yeah. Central, and they're just on. And uh, most people watching them are, you know, in jail or they can't get at the fucking. They don't have. They didn't give them yeah. a remote. <laughs> you know, <laughs> nobody's watching. It means nothing it's anymore. It means it's, nothing. Nothing. it's just shoving it really in front of a curtain. My yeah. fucking mailman doing. Right. Here's the thing: if you're a big Louis C. Fan, if Louis C.K. C.K. fan, mm-hmm. here's the thing: my second CD live in Philly. Let me just tell you: Louis C.K. took the picture of the cover. <laughs> the cover <laughs> of my my second CD. Uh-huh. Louis C.K. It just, Louis C.K. It, took it, it from. It bothers me at that at he's at slipping a plug in under the guise of a joke. No, smart. I know. It's I don't even. Don't just CD anymore. It. Shut up. Okay, you're yeah. plugging a Wednesday and a Sunday. Okay. I got three CDs Guess to push and three kids. As yeah. you slam my Wednesday, what, in Minneapolis this week, I swear to God, after the first show on a Wednesday, some guy came up to me and he goes, let me tell you something, DeRosa, on a Wednesday night, you're better than that piece of shit Voss on a Saturday. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. I probably went smashed there, him. I wasn't going to say that. I don't care. I probably <laughs> smashed him. You went there, Rich. It doesn't matter. I probably smashed a guy and he was fat oh. and you guys got along. It was a skinny. It was John Stamos that said it. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fucking John Stamos. So, uh, well, Louis' new special, it. Live at the Beacon, available to stream or download for five dollars at louisck.com. I think we had bumped it to three times for people that have any technical problems. You can download it or stream it three times. Three times, and then that's it. You got to pay another five then, bucks. Yeah, but when stupid. you download it, that file's yours. Right. You can. The reason for having it that you can download it three times is you can do it on three different computers. I downloaded it, and, and then uh, I had it on my Mac, and then. I just popped it on through Apple TV. Yeah. And there it is on my TV you can in my fucking on living TV. room. You just can... like I was watching uh, anything else that That's right. would have been on TV. We're burning it. Right. You can burn a DVD, and we're making it's going to be up tomorrow uh, a DVD cover and label kit oh, shit. So that you... you can print out. Oh, nice. So, because I think some people might want to give it physically to <laughs> somebody. like, look. I got the material. Make the fucking shit yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like I, I did enough. You here. put it together. The box. Take a uh, box with the fucking get some glue whatever. and get some it scissors. Right. Right. See yeah. a DVD. Yeah, Pull I, the paper out of it. I, put I, my thing in it. <laughs> you can put, a, you can put a CD in. I want to bring up something you said uh, earlier about the ease of ordering and stuff like that. Yeah. A website that wants to just pound you and stuff like that. Right. I had an experience on the fucking phone the other day with the American Express. Mm-hmm. I had gotten a new card. And it gives you, you know, you call this number so you could activate your card. And uh, I love the shenanigans they pull with this fucking mm-hmm. thing. Call the number. All right. Put in your number. I did it. I jumped through the little hoops. And then at the end, they go, while we're processing your card, yeah. we'd like you to listen to these new features that are available through American Express. Like, 
No, no. it's already processed. Yes. Don't tell me there's some right. guy with no. a card catalog and little bifocals <laughs> looking up my name. Anthony Cooney. Anthony Cooney. Yeah. Yes. Put on something else. Tell him to keep listening. I'm not yes. through. Yes. It's, it's done. <laughs> yeah. And imagine, it magically is. enough, the second their little presentation's over, huh. your card has been verified. Perfect yeah. time. Wow, every fucking time. Well, I don't yeah. want to sit through the, yeah. a commercial. Yeah, weirdly, is, hold music stops in the middle of the song. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow they got to yeah. thank you for listening. It's the same as when you call somebody, instead of going and leave a message, it takes a minute to leave that message. Dial five, do this. Yeah, if so they like keep you on for 40 yeah. seconds because yeah. they're getting all that fucking free air time. Well, they're selling to you. Well, they're not. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> you want to say that makes no what? sense. What are you talking well, about? They, 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 they just to... like you listening no, to them? No, 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 no. Not what I'm saying is <laughs> when you cut, what? no, they're keeping you on the air Everyone's laughing so they can charge you air. for. No, he's supposed to be Okay, he thinks he's getting charged while he's listening to an outgoing message. Oh, per minute? When you're Nobody called, pays yes. for minutes Some anymore. Some people do, but who, not me. Not many. They're called But black. who are you calling? <laughs> <laughs> but who are you calling that cares that if you're that you're spending money? No, stupid. Listen no, he to means me. the, no, the, the length the, of the, the boilerplate. Stupid. It's you that's stupid. It. I know. It's it's the, he's talking about the boilerplate for like Verizon outgoing. If you'd oh. like to leave a message, you or know. press this, press that. Oh, so they're oh, adding up. We there. just got a tenth of a thousandth of a cent from you, sucker. It's like when you go to pump gas. No, you guys don't. Oh, what's up? Right. When you go to pump gas, gas <laughs> the <know>. last <coughs> eight eight cents is real, real slow, and people go, "Oh, fuck it!" And you're so getting charged people... airtime no, for that no, eight cents. If enough you... people go, "Fuck it!" at two cents, they're yeah. not sitting there. The is that why they do that? No, that's why they do that. That's why they do that. Why they do that. Why they do that. Because it's slowing down. Is it a pro? Because it can't just go. It can't just go. Twenty-five done. You can't do that. Okay, well you work at a gas station. I don't know that. But you know what? It works out. It's a stunt work out in their favor. It works out in their favor, though. Damn it! You might be honest with me. I love how somebody would like. There's an engineer. Like if we just, it's a psychological edge we have. If we slow it down, they're gonna bolt. They're and we're leaving. gonna get, and this but is why wouldn't of gas. that happen? Yes. With all and the cents are gonna. Why does it slow down at three cents instead of twelve? Because someone's gonna eventually go, fuck it, the last four cents, and and those cents will add up. Here's, here's, here's those a cents better, will add up. Here's a better. Smarter example of what you're trying to say right now. Okay, let's hear it. It's. <laughs> it's gonna like Jimmy Johnson. Buy. He needs to <laughs> that race be out your, of the fuck. It's your, a, your, on the road. You should go to his markets and say <laughs> a better, smarter version of which one. <laughs> just do all the same material, but just make it really concise. <laughs> I don't have any bullshit. It wouldn't work. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Let no, me it's it, listen. It's like when you buy a subway card and they go, "Hey." For ten, for if you buy the ten dollar card, well, you you'll it's it's not the exact amount for this many rides. Yeah, of course. And there's like a dollar left over, and they know nobody's going to take that dollar and put it towards a ride and put more money on. You just throw the card with the dollar right. away. Yep. And that's a buck they got out of you. I think that's what you're trying to say. No, I'm that not. happens. That <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> That's a crime. <laughs> well, okay, you know what? I bet you some. See, that's a real thing that's happening. I bet you some oil executives going. He's on to us. That's oh all. boy, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure it works that, out in their favor, but I don't think that's the reason they did it in the first place. I like how you think oil executives are listening to the show right, right now. Well, okay. <laughs> and it's the executive that goes out with yes. his tie and goes, well, Rich Voss, we want to talk to you. I say, I say, it's time yeah. we listen to Opie and Anthony. Pulls up in a Cadillac with horns on the front in front of Rich's house. Why, wow, this must be the Rich Voss house, I'll see. Well, we're on to you, boy. How much you want? How much you want to keep your mouth shut, boy? <laughs> God damn it. That's fucking great. I still don't know who's charging for that phone call. <laughs> that boggled well, don't me. Just bring you right to, all I know is they're reframing my still house going. now and it's starting to get still going. <laughs> still going. They yeah, just will not give it up. It's amazing. <laughs> Could be talking to Louis C.K., but we have conspiracy well, you know theories to get to with Rich Voss. Conspiracy theories. He doesn't even hear us right, right now because he doesn't have his head speakers on. No. Head speakers. He calls them, <laughs> he calls them yeah, head put speakers. Put on your low. head speakers. Can you put on your head speakers? Or your or ear speaker. Room? You know, I'm, I'm outgrowing you guys. What? I'm done. Yeah, I think so. no, oh, look at those hands. They're still tiny. They're not outgrowing anybody. Nothing's growing on you.
<laughs> Rich. Oh, you fuck. fuck. Um, What's the matter, Rich? What's wrong, Rich? It's always I've been thinking about that for years, and I thought I was right it's, about it. Did you ever notice how much <laughs> what, the gas thing? it takes to slide that thing across? That's, that's a what, scam. That's where they get you. That's where they get you. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. They make you look at the screen for 10 seconds longer than yeah, you need exactly. to. That's no, a, but it's true that they don't. They like they sell you while you're buying it already. Yeah, like you're. I'm. I'm fucking. I got the card. You got I'm me already. I'm yeah. done here. Jeez. Yeah, I don't leave me alone. I'm watching Channel Two. <laughs> leave me the fuck alone. Let right. me actually enjoy the product now. Don't yeah. sell to me. What? While I'm fucking trying to take it in. Yeah. The what? worst one of those I ever saw was whatever whatever weird network that Dr. Drew talk show was on. It's some like all help self help network. At the end of his show, literally for the last like four minutes, the fuck his show goes like this up into the corner. Oh, they yeah. squeeze it. And then the other seventy five percent of the screen is the is a countdown clock. And the ad for the next show. Yeah. Like, are you goes, fucking no. kidding me? I've seen that. I've seen him squeeze. When you have an agent or a manager, like if you if you ever uh, uh, interview with agents, like when you're looking for a new agent, and they, they'll, I, I've had this conversation every single time. They say, "Hey, here's the advantage of signing with me. My other clients are this director, this you know Quentin Tarantino. I represent." You know, fucking whoever. I can't think of any. You know, Peter Bogdanovich. <laughs> and if you sign with me, oh, I will ago. horn you into his. I'll get you onto his movies. And then I go, well, if I make a movie, do I have to fucking hire your clients? <laughs> no, no, I would never do that. <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. minute. But, but you just, so you just, I'm your favorite <laughs> yeah. person in the world, right. and You're you don't even have it. me yet? Fucking assholes. You're a liar. <laughs> You're just a liar, right? <laughs> well, aren't they all? When, uh, it, when, a show, when a show ends now, and they squeeze the credits, yeah. and they roll them a fucking thousand miles an hour, <laughs> you can't even see them. And the, others, the next show is starting above the credits already. Yes. It, uh, it's it's like because they can't it. put a commercial in there anymore. No. And, and if you remember when I was growing up, you know, with with the fucking three channels, uh, it was like a fuckload of commercials at the top right. of the hour before a show. That's right. And that was it. And then well, that's what like we were talking about. Um, I I came in under budget with the special. I've got a, a bunch of money that Louis I expected to Louis C.K. for president, spend. I say. <laughs> Fix this fucking economy. He's changing the world. We came in way under and we have extra money, which I could keep. But then I thought if we re it's worth, if there's a way to invest it and increase the sales, it's worth it. Yeah. And, and I thought maybe by advertising. That's one thing I thought. I could afford to do it. Uh, and so I was talking to a guy about it and he said, well, I was asking him about TV ads, like getting, you know, little clusters of cable ads and stuff. And he said the web advertising is so great. But I'm not going to do it because a TV ad comes on between the shows. You're done watching, and, you, and it <laughs> yeah. comes on. And TV ads have been there forever and ever. But a web ad comes on on top of a thing you're trying to use. <laughs> yes. You're trying to use yeah. something, and it comes on. And I just know if I make a web ad, I've never clicked on a banner in my life. No. no. I could have a banner that has you, Anthony, on it saying, hey, Louis, this Louis I always please to tell click you. this. <laughs> please, it'll save and I thought, my family's him. lives. Yeah. Well, now I see your face in front of something I'm trying to jack off. Fucking <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> yeah. 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 Come on, man. This makes it's you pissed off. It's intrusive, and right. they're always, even if it's like yes. people I like Will Ferrell, like knocking on the glass of my computer. Hey, hey click on this. Fuck you, Will. <laughs> you make me laugh, but right now you're just making me angry. Yeah. And they made the ads way, way, way more intrusive because there was a good couple of years where they'd go, you can get the free version of this site, but to get rid of the ads, and I was like, I don't give a fuck. Put the ads up. Yeah. I'm not paying yeah. for this shit. And then they made the ads like, eh. They're insane. So you have yeah. to go, fuck it, I'll pay for it. This yeah, is now they're crazy. using ads as leverage to get you to pay to clean the site. So right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. You want to watch these fucking yeah. ads? Yeah, look how yeah. bad your they problem, are. Asshole. They're telling the advertiser, look how much we're give, room we're giving you. They don't know they're actually yeah. doing that to drive this other price up. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <They> get money <laughs> to stop to, the to ads. Stop yeah, you can't see it. We'll let you use the site for free. This guy's going to jerk off in your eyes, though. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> what site is that? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. If you make a, a thing pleasant to go to, like the other thing I did was you don't have to go away and then get an email, the, that sort of uh, confirmation email uh, yeah. thing, which is so, just another right. security step. Yeah. But how many fucking people? Like when I first sold a CD and DVD on my website years ago, and then somebody would email me the money through PayPal. 
And it's once in a while, somebody would write and go, hey, I wrote, I, I put the money in, but I didn't get the thing. I didn't get a yeah. confirmation. And I'd be like, how do I figure this out? I'd call PayPal, and I was on phone with PayPal for like 10 minutes, and I was like, why that am I doing this? Time. Just send it. Send it. Right, Just right. fucking send it. Look, it cost I, me 50 I've been, cents. I've been, <laughs> selling, uh, I've been selling some <laughs> live from the compound T-shirts. I'm yes. in the T-shirt business. Nice. And... uh I, I hate the the fact because I I wound up I got a lot of orders for fucking t-shirts yeah. and I'm I'm kneeling on my living oh. room floor <laughs> printing labels out and shoving shirts in I plastic used to do that. envelopes. Yeah, a fucking millionaire. It's like oh, yeah yeah, and I'm sitting there like, why am I doing this? But yeah, I figured out like a faster system after a while and right. fuck it, whatever. But I've gotten a couple of people that have been like, uh, I get an email and they're instantly nasty, dude. Yes. It starts like, dude. I fucking sent the money, <laughs> and I've been waiting. I didn't get the fucking shirt. You know, I'm going to call my credit card company and dispute this shit. And then I wrote him back. I go, hey, fella. I go, your shirt's on the way. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not sending any more money for shipping. I said, no, I'm, I'm sending it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, like, they get it? so fucking... Yes. Yes. They get so they? So when I used to how sell did... CDs on my, on oh, my website... Dare they want it. <laughs> I never, I'm sure they want their merchandise. When I used to sell stuff on my web, I used to do that too. <laughs> you And I was always in trouble. Yes. I was constantly in trouble with somebody, with, you know, people. With, yeah. You know, I it was a trust issue that I sent you. A the trust money, issue. You know. Come oh, on. I saw, I, I, I logged on and I saw a dispute. I like fucking yeah. customer dispute. I was like, oh, so what happened? No, when this thing went live, like we, we put it up at noon on Saturday. This is one of the funnest things I ever did because it's not, I have no experience in this kind yeah, of thing. Brand new. Yeah. Cool. And I'm, I'm all the th stuff, like I made the website very big. We, I paid a shitload of money. To, like I doubled what I thought I'd probably have to pay. <laughs> okay. Just there's be no question. Um, so it's super fast and it's super, there's two British guys running it. So if you ever have to talk to somebody, it's a British, you know, nice man. That sounds good. Yeah, exactly. But when it first place. went live and it started watching the sales <laughs> number come place. up yeah. and then the, and the dispute number was the other one and it would be like one for every few thousand. Like it was really, oh, that's good. it was really, I think we've had like 10 people. What do you mean? For their money off? back, uh, I think oh. five of them were because they thought they were buying tickets to a show. For five dollars? Oh, yeah, five five dollars. Dollars. Yes, you five virtually dollars. are buying tickets to a show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unbelievable. The worst is when you send somebody something like they go, hey, can I get your CD? And you go, just what's your address? I'll mail you one. Yeah. And they don't fucking thank you. It drives me <laughs> fucking. You send them, That's you what bothers Rich. It does because you oh, said somebody wrote, a woman wrote me on, <laughs> on uh, my email uh, about a month before the Beacon show. And she said, my husband is a huge fan and I wanted to get him this for his birthday. And she gave me a list of problems they've been having, uh, economic problems. And I never, I never answer that kind of stuff because it's like, come fucking pay the money to see my show. Yeah. yeah. But the, I don't know. Something about this email is like, I'm sitting here, I'm taking a shit. <laughs> she wants two tickets. It's not that hard. And I just forwarded it to my agent and said, give her two. She, I said, give her two comps just uh, for whatever she wants, whatever show she wants to go to. Never heard, never nothing. No, yeah, thank you. Nothing. Really? So she got the that. tickets and was like, yeah, those are my, yeah, that's right. Ugh. That's yeah, how you get asshole. your tickets. We no did. fucking thing. Fucking it's weird asshole. Enough, they asked us to, and we talked about this on the right. podcast. They asked us to do benefits. Okay, you'll do a benefit. You, you do your time. But then they'll call you and go, can you put it on Twitter? Can you put it on Facebook? Can you do it? Yeah. Now I'm not only doing a benefit. I'm your fucking promoter, okay? <laughs> and then you do the fucking benefit, and you don't get a thank you. Finally, we got one six weeks later or four, four mm -hmm. weeks later. I was out of my fucking mind. Well, they're a little busy trying to help the fucking African sick people, yeah, dying people. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Rich. I'm trying to feed this kid with no mouth. Yeah. <laughs> we're, trying to find we're trying to find lips for this kid. <laughs> and you want no, your thank you. <laughs> we haven't thanked Rich Jesus, for his Rich. 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Between Robert Wall and right. fucking Caroline Ray. Right. <laughs> <laughs> to thank. <laughs> would be thanking me for that. Yes, so. <laughs> Their kid is not going to see the age five, but you need your thank you. <laughs> no, it's, Jesus. A it's, a benefit. Benefit. <laughs> it's a benefit. But it's a benefit, when I do a benefit, yeah. it costs us at of least course. Oh, no, a babysitter. Oh. To, listen. I know it does, but you're doing it for <laughs> yeah, Oh, my God. He's thank got you. no. You're you doing like it for the thing, for the people. You don't, don't like people. a thank you? Rich, a thank you would be nice, but most people understand you that don't there's get other mad things going on. don't thank you. Rich, Rich, I... I tell you the person was you would. No. <laughs> Rich, I have never said this in my life, and I don't ever think this except well, I'm for going you. on a diet? No, you are such. <laughs> you are such. Joe's not a heavy guy. Oh, he needs a he needs a trainer, not not a diet. He's on a 
Right. No, he needs something. to get healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not healthy. He's pale and he's <laughs> fucking <laughs> Not a hint of muscle, no, but worm. besides but that. I, but he's not heavy. <laughs> the yeah, first time. Heavy. I mean, shit on him for the proper reason. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he's a fucking. He's a mess. Fucking flabby Jew. He's not going to be a the other end of the spectrum. You actually got fucking pasty and and asexual enough for God, the Jewish God to love you. <laughs> he took you in. You're uh, you're you're like the sort of physical inspiration for me. Yeah, I know. It's the first I time I worked with you yeah. years and years ago. You were like telling me like was that Raleigh or somewhere? Yeah, we're in North yeah. Carolina for New yeah. Year's, yeah. Yeah. and uh, you were like. You were you were telling me about going around that jogging track. Yeah, I you were. Was, I think you were forty at the time. You I go, was running. Yeah, like if I I thought at forty, if I could get around this, and I was like, I got till forty. Yeah, I can fuck <laughs> okay. off till forty. Okay, so All that right. made me feel like. How old are you now? Thirty four. Oh, shit. So six years. Oh, six years. He's like fucking 59. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I got it. We care yeah. about you. Jesus. How old are you, Anthony? Oh, I've no just idea. cracked the uh, half a century mark. That's are it? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How old are you? 48. That's You're crazy. 49, aren't you? No. Fuck. How'd that happen? I don't know. That's, Jesus. that's, that's crazy. Jesus. Yeah. How old are you, yeah. Ross? Fifty-four. Are you really? Uh, I'll be fifty-five. He looks two. good. Voss looks good. Rich is right there. How are the abs today? He's in the pocket. Good? You get to see the abs when he comes in. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they're all hairy. And... <laughs> I know it holds the jizz. You can't like oh, it no. gets all hard. It's like Raquel Welsh's tits now. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, those used to be awesome. <laughs> I'm, those once, were when important ten, ones. When I lose ten pounds, I'm going to shave again. What? My chest. <laughs> Who cares? These are like, your goals. Why are you telling and us that? These are your goals. Yeah. Some about people people are like, I'm going to have my own show by <laughs> right, next. Right. When I lose 10 pounds, I'm going to shave my abs <laughs> yes. again. He's a great gotta, person. Gotta, 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 why do you need to lose? Goals low. Why do you have to lose 10 pounds? Huh? Why do you have so to I could be fucking out? ripped, man, because I know we're going to get into a festival, and I want to go there looking good, He's going to go to the beach with those blonde hair dunes. It was so nice bad. when you came in. We were talking. This week. See, you fall into their category. What, what are you talking about? Category. <laughs> you have, you're already, you're he's easy. Already What's already that category? category? <laughs> Funny? <laughs> 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 Rich. Rich, he's always been that guy. What are you talking about? Nah, he's not a double agent. <laughs> No, oh, Rich you thought is, he was being Rich a double is, agent? I have a big uh, affinity for Rich Boss. Who doesn't? An important person. Why? You know what? When I was getting divorced, he was really nice to me. That's all it takes. Nice. Yeah, I came to this show back when it was in another We were building. nice to you. No, you guys no, were nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but, of course you were. I came into this show uh, in like a stunned state of just, I was just fucking depressed. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and there's fucking dumb Rich Voss. <laughs> and uh, he says something to me like, if, hey, if you ever want to talk about what's going on with you, you know, I'll talk to you about it. And I was like, why would I want to talk to you? <laughs> and, you know, you wear a gold Rolex and you don't have any money. I got a silver one. <laughs> <And> so <laughs> so uh, he sits next to me on the couch and he goes, uh, hey, you know, um, I when I got divorced, I had two kids, uh, two little girls. And uh, um, and he described my life exactly, exactly. And he gave me like fucking said three or four things that meant so that were so important, just practical. When you're in a fucked up place like yeah. that. All the nice things people say are just insulting. Like, hey, man, you'll be okay. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, no, you I get won't. Through it. The yeah. point is, no, I won't, you <laughs> asshole. The only thing that means anything is practical advice. It's like, hey, here's something that I've been there, and here's something that makes it easier. What did he say? Can he, he say? say? It doesn't matter. Well, what he said, well, well, it's, it's interesting. It yeah, it matters. <laughs> Maybe it'll help someone else out there. He said, I, I'm going to cheat on Bonnie all the time. No, no. He, said, <laughs> he said to me that he is uh, big. He's, two things that meant, were important to me. First, he said that his biggest goal was to maintain a good relationship with his ex. Like that it was really important to him to take what, do whatever it took to stay amicable with her. And he said, now Bonnie and I have a baby and she babysits tonight so I can have a date night. That's that. That's how that paid off, and that his two girls are now grown, and that they share them, and that they they have that they feel good between their two parents. Mm. 
So that's what that he said. This is like it's hard, but if you do it, here is what can happen. Like there's a fucking future. Rich, then, who told you this? <laughs> yeah, this was like this was amazing. I'm this is there. like, <laughs> and then I said, and then I'm asking questions. I'm like, you know, I've been I had been divorced for a while, and I said I dated for a bit, and I didn't want to anymore. Like I didn't want to keep going out and trying to get laid. I didn't like that part of it like i just didn't i was like a lot, oh. a lot going on oh. and i said but that feels like i'm worried that i'm like reclusing myself by mm. and he said fuck getting laid you got a career and you got two kids for right now that can be enough like he gave me uh, uh it said it's okay not to get laid sometimes as a man you feel like you got to get pussy wherever oh. it's mm. available but sometimes it's okay to take a breath and mm. actually just be a father and a professional mm. whatever you are and it let me off yeah. the hook this shit meant a lot to me. Wow. Wow. And yeah, I sit rich. here and I will insult him. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> matter what comic he was entertainment. To but no, well, I, I'm is. grateful to, uh, to Rich Voss. Here's I got a lot of support from unusual places during when that you time. Get, <laughs> when you get divorced, and <laughs> you know this. Well, yeah. you know, I have no I, kids, and, though. Well, yeah. huh? I had no kids, though. Yeah, so. that's not yeah. even, that's just a financial but, fleecing. Yeah. That's, yeah. Just, that's yeah. just fucking extortion. Yeah. It's the same, it's the same, as, it's the same as in recovery. If you quit, if you quit drinking and doing drugs and you start gambling, you're only mm-hmm. transferring addictions and, and you're not dealing with quitting drinking and drugs. Right. If you're going through a divorce and you just start fucking whatever you can, it's just burying the pain in here and you're using, you're jerking off in some Yeah, girl. you're not actually. That's, that's all you're doing. That's why I think the problem with a lot of people now is that they're just consumers. They just want to consume and shit, and they don't think about, like, well, I actually need to do something to make myself feel better. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I actually have to take a breath. Like a locust in a pussy field. You just got to kind of <laughs> run your way through it and eat it and consume it. I don't and then... know if that's what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the, I think that's the opposite of what he's trying I, uh... to say. I don't. Yeah. I, I do what you do. I just shove it all down. Oh, and just we tamp it, <laughs> tamp it down. <laughs> it's terrible, and man. It's just, you're making yourself ready down. for your first marriage. And it's, gonna, it's all gonna fucking unspool. Yeah. Like a like a Chinese food container full yeah. of maggots <laughs> oh, uh, in the middle of your marriage. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. parents, we talked about all this shit. When my parents were fucking divorced, and they didn't have any knowledge back then. This is fucking 40, 49 years ago. <laughs> the bosses but, uh, of now. The well, apple doesn't fall <laughs> far from the tree. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and, and you turn it, here's the thing. You know, my and we used to... We've your talked, parents were shitty toward each other, they, they using the kids. They would set the kids up. Right. To you know, to go at each other, a lot you know, of people fuck. do that, and it's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous because, in the end, you end up doing crack and bad radio shows. It's not fucking worth <laughs> no. it. And also, uh, I think the basic thing is, it's like some people just are narcissists because the thing that's supposed yeah. to happen when you have kids is that they just become more important than you, and it's not like you do it painfully you just feel it you just go the kid matters more so you would never do if you if you're that kind of person then when you get in an altercation with another person you don't put your fucking kid yeah in no. the middle of it to preserve yourself or to hurt someone else that's insane yeah. pretty fucked up but a lot I, of people do it like so, you said so fucked up Any, yep. anybody fucked up. any parent that keeps their fucking kids from the other parent should, those are the ones that should lose their kids Okay. Well, here's what some people say, and it's true. If you if you have a kid and you're divorced, and you say bad shit about the other kids, yeah. the kid's other parent, yeah. you are criticizing fifty percent of the kid. Yes, the kid, oh. a, a kid, especially a kid who's a child, they are made up of two people, and they identify with a man and a woman, their mother and father. So if you say your father's a piece of shit or your mother's a whore. Mm. The person's going to feel that in themselves. They're going to think they're going to take that in. So it's not a stranger. It's their fucking yeah. mom, you idiot. I was a hundred. <laughs> I was a hundred percent a piece of shit then, because my parents just would <clears throat> call each other horrid things. Oh, right in front of the kids too. Right. Oh, this oh, is yeah. wonderful. Hey, when you're they... in the marriage, everybody's in the yeah. same house. Yeah, <laughs> this shit goes on. But look what they gave birth to. There should be I fights. I know. <laughs> Well, they, they no, they told me together. it was never my fault. They told me now we're getting divorced. That's not your fault. It, my, or they didn't even, even use that word. I they were I like, fucking... daddy's living somewhere else. It's not your fault. And then, 
<laughs> it's like, I didn't think it was. Now no. I'm starting to, though, because you're yeah, trying to tell me it's that. not. Yeah, you just put that yeah, thought yeah, in my yeah, head. What the fuck? Yeah. I didn't know. Is it my fault? I see you two yelling all the time about right. shit that doesn't yeah. even concern right. me. Right. Dad's yeah, suspicious. drunk. Huh. Fucking, he's not working. It's suspicious. That's... Come to my house. I promise I'm not going to rape you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. why are you why saying you that? Why did you say that? I would never rape you. I would never. That's why I love comedy. Like, my parents, when I was in second grade, it was nothing but fighting. Where's dad? This and that. So I'd come home from school, Your last and I would put school. fucking Von Meter album on, and and just listen to it every day, and sit and laugh, and forget, you know, and what just happened? watch comics. Von Meter. Who's Von Meter? He did the Kennedy know. impressions. He was great. He had the yeah. biggest that's fucking what, career. That's what saved you in your <laughs> fat family was <laughs> Kennedy impressions. Was Von Meter? In second grade, man. <laughs> oh my Him God. and Alan King. I'm sorry. Hey, we got to go to the uh, <laughs> he uh, went the, the Lincoln party. bathroom <laughs> and uh, have a Lincoln log. <laughs> oh, well, go ahead and fuck me now. Yeah. It's fine. I heard Ken. I heard a lampooning of, uh, of two presidents ago. Oh uh, yeah. When my parents and died in that to... plane crash, I'll tell you, Rich Little, Rich <laughs> Little's Nixon, uh, 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 he just died? raised me like no. the phoenix from the flames. Oh. Who wouldn't laugh at that? Yeah. I thought they died. I don't know. You... No, my parents. I'm adopted. That's why I thought they died were... in a plane crash. I don't know. My the, my real parents might be dead. I have no fucking idea. Yeah. I uh, on 9 11. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> <laughs> yeah, <there you> <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, wow. That's, that's, uh, so your parents... Uh, that's a little racist. Oh, my God. You're, you're Arab, and your parents now are white. That adopted you? Uh, I'm half... By blood, I'm half Arab and half Egyptian, and yeah. my adopted, wow. adoptive parents are... 100 percent of the time. Jesus Christ! How far uh, down the list do they have to go to get an Arab? I mean, how many? <laughs> not that far. Even, even black kids first. Oh, shit. <laughs> you can get you can get two black kids for one Arab. <laughs> Try, yeah. Try to get yeah, w like if you want to adopt uh, a white kid, you got to wait online. However, if you want to adopt an Asian or an Arab, that is like the fucking bargain bin. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, to, least. right to the front of the line. <laughs> right. Oh, it's a bit. Yeah, trying to get a white kid is like trying to get a Harley. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awful. Can you guys come with a TV. <laughs> uh, Lou, you're on uh, Reddit.com right now, the front page. That's huge. Oh, nice. oh shit. I'm well, serious. I went on yesterday and I did a whole um, thing where you ask uh, the answer questions. Yeah, that's fucking huge. Reddit. I didn't know that that shit got reprinted because I was being really dirty, too. Really? But sorry. <laughs> Uh, the new special is called happens. Live at the Beacon. Louis C.K. available to stream or download for just five bucks. Five bucks. Uh, LouisCK.com or .net. And I'm going to make it a giftable uh, tomorrow, too. We're going to make it that you can give it away, you know, like buy it and then send it to somebody and you get a little envelope. And Damn, you're thinking of everything. That's yeah, because okay. it's, it's, it's just busy work. God, it's just wanna, somebody doing it. I want to yeah. know how many downloads so bad. Yeah, I ain't telling you. I mean, I might tell you off the air, but I'm not telling you. I can't yeah. let it out. It's like corporate secret information. You seem right very now. happy. It's, it's good. <laughs> it's good. I'll say that so far. I mean, it's an ongoing experiment. Are you surprised by the number? Um, Is it within range what you were hoping? I don't know because I had so many levels. Like I had, there's like okay. a bunch of tiers of what could happen. Okay. And the other thing is that the, I mean, to me right now it's been like a pre-sale. Like I mm. haven't promoted it. This is like the first thing I've done. Yeah, to yeah. It. I just <laughs> tweeted it and read it, and that's really it. Well, Rich is crying. So I have I'm doing there it. Goes. I know, yeah. This is your first promotion. It's not really. This is a practice promotion. Yeah, this is practice. <laughs> and then I'm doing, uh, you right. know, the Tonight Show and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And now it's, uh, it's like the, the thing that's interesting about it to me because <laughs> everything that's on iTunes and Netflix and stuff, it event, it, it starts out as a TV event. Like it's been, it's going to be on at this time. Sure. Uh -huh. And then it gets a ratings number and then it moves on from there. And then eventually it gets liquidated. But the fact that this is starting as something that you go to as a destination and buy it, it's going to be interesting to see, like, how does... I'm sitting here watching sales while I'm sitting here. So when I do the <laughs> yeah. Tonight Show, so is we'll this see helping? if it actually feeds it. It's, go, it's, it's going up. I mean, I don't know if it's the hour or the show. But it's, <laughs> it's, it slows so much down heat. at night. It's oh. really interesting to watch the, how it goes, the stream goes yeah. up and down. It gets slow at night, and then towards, like, at 9.15 in the morning... All the every day, there's a spike. By the way, Louis is obsessed now with oh, these. Oh no, it's so interesting. <laughs> but it's fun watching, watching numbers, so watching the, watching gra the little shit. graph and everything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I study graphics and I like. I'd crap. say I'll be able to really so know right how it worked. Yeah, exactly. for after it's been up for like a month or two, because you're supposed to be able to just keep making money with something, and this won't maybe do that. 
And you're hoping we'll have a stopping point. Right, right. And you're hoping to do one of these a year, I would assume. Because you, yeah. do, you do about an hour well, I a have year. Also, I have a CD of, I, last year I did a tour that I called Word, and I went that material went into the series, and I never released it as its own thing. But I shot it, I did a, a CD of it at the Carnegie Hall. So I have a live Carnegie Hall CD of that material. <laughs> wow. And a lot of it wasn't in the show. So it's and it's the only complete show of it. So that's coming next, and I'll sell that on that the That was website. a great show, too. I was at the Carnegie that Hall. That was a really fun show, and it's been sitting in my desk in the drawer. So I'm going oh, to sure. put it on the and like, same thing with the labels and all that stuff. And you've got to deal with the venues. On the website, five bucks. It'll the, always be five bucks. The venues take their fucking piece, and it's a big one, right? Yeah, Carnegie Hall was, uh, I mean, there's, you know, it's funny. You actually pay not to mention the place. Like, be, uh, it's called Live at the Beacon Theater because if I didn't call it that, it would cost me like 20000 bucks to not use the name. <laughs> so, uh, so it's called an origin fee. And, uh, That's so fucked up. Oh, yeah, it's weird. Boy, they can't even fucking. No yeah. matter what you try to do yeah. in this world, they I, mean, I don't mind fees. calling it Live at the Beacon because Carlin did a special there and, and, it, and I love that theater, you know, but, uh, you know, I would like to not have had to. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, the Carnegie Hall C- CD, I'll put that out next. And then, yeah, next year I'll probably do another special. I hear it's almost impossible wow, to shoot video at Carnegie Hall. That that number is ridiculous. No, well, what we did a want. CD there. Yeah, yeah, it would have been a lot because well, their their union is they, uh, they want boy. some bucks for that. They do. I've heard that over the years. The, the CD is good yeah. though. The guy who makes the, does like the orchestras did sure. it. Not that you know he had one fucking mic to. Just, <laughs> yeah, he's used to mic the show. The <laughs> he's, like, yeah. That mic right there, yeah. that one. Yeah, but I think it was I got this it. Russian guy or German or something. He was like, "This sounds is very. Good. I'd want you to speak for a while at your regular tone." <laughs> and I spoke, and he kept coming to this little man. It was kind of cool. One, one other thing I want to mention. I just remember when I was at the Beacon show, you fucking lost it because the the guy with the spotlight fell yeah, asleep. Yeah, he lost me. He lost that's not in this spotlight. special, right? No, it's not. Oh, we weren't taping that show. Because how you handled that was hilarious. Yeah, he, you're basically he, telling the guy, "Look, your only job is to follow me." Yeah. Every time I stood still for a while, if I walked to my right or left, it would I'd walk in a dark. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> he finally had to address it. It was yeah, hilarious. Yeah, I had to Jesus say, Christ. "Fucking stay with me." It's like it's called a follow spot. And then he realized, he yeah. follow me." Yeah, he, he <laughs> might have like hit him a little too hard because because then Louis's like, ah, "I love everyone here at the beacon, well, and fucking... I love the unions and blah blah blah." <laughs> yeah, <he's laughs> massive stage hands. Yeah, these guys are enormous. And I live down the street. I walk by there with my kids all the time. They could easily there's just... a fucking Louis. Yeah. Right. 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 Oh, did I not follow? You enough? How about if I follow you now yeah. with a bat? <laughs> the whole how it went down was the whole thing was hilarious because then you realize, all right, I better apologize a little bit too. Well, that was they might fun, pull man. the power in the middle of this fucking thing. <laughs> show me who's boss. Show. And the show I did was uh, I did an hour and forty five minutes, but I cut it down to an hour because it just made it better. And the other shit I've been putting out on YouTube, just right. throwing it out there. Good for you, man. Yeah. Uh, so That's what, what right. weeknights are you at, Caroline? Oh, boy. <laughs> well, it's oh, funny boy. listening to, like, Louie talking about watching the spikes and the numbers. I'm like, oh, this is what it's like when your stuff really sells. Yeah. Like, I get, a, I get a check for my record label, and I'm just like, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw any money. I always had back-end deals for DVDs and stuff. Never saw a penny of it. And I'm not, that. this. the money I'm making is not life-changing, but the thing that's, that's What's good about it is that it's in my bank account. Right? Yeah, yeah. We, we, like that, right that never happens. You don't actually get the money. Man. We got to go back so, to n- 1998, I guess, Ant. We put a CD oh, out, God. and the experience was so horrible, we never tried again. And the CD right. sold so really Scheister well. Scheister was in charge mm-hmm. of the whole and, fucking thing. And at the time, it, it got really good reviews. I don't know if the material holds up anymore, but for the I time, it, it did very well. Mm. And it and it and was, it was charting locally right. and here and there, whatever. But this Scheister... Yeah, what were we getting? It. Like 25 cents that we had to split between I, I, each other? The deal was so bad. It was 25 cents. I, no, 75 cents. 75 cents a disc that we had to split, but there was right. no accounting of a, officially what we sold. And then one day he kind of gave us a check, and then he stopped paying us because he was mad at us. And, right. and he was he was making money off posters and T-shirts that he printed. We, we also him in a corner counting money counting when we were doing signings. Money. <laughs> he was in counting a corner. Like, and you just hear... Somebody on like, iTunes. Like, all right, I think he, something's going did on. Did he pay you guys like we, this? One for you? Uh, two for me? Nothing. No, we I just, wish there was a one for me. Just, <laughs> just to show you, we, uh, it was the Springfield Mall in Massachusetts. We did an eight-hour signing. Th- this line was fucking for days, basically. <sighs> and he's selling posters and T-shirts. We're not giving us a piece of the action. And like Ann said, he had a stack nah, of fucking money. Somebody's selling on iTunes some of your stuff, like, 
you know, people in studio for like two ninety nine a uh, thing. Yeah, That's not you guys there. doing that? No. No, I don't sell anything. I thought that yesterday. that was Sirius XM doing no. that. No. Every Bootleg. fucking day. Bootleg or so goes up. Bootleg. iTunes are able to do that? Audible. Yeah, they, what? Oh, Audible we got. Well, Audible does, Audible but, is, but there is are people the bootlegging company. our shit. Torrents and stuff. Oh, yeah, man. You know, iTunes, yeah, so so iTunes offered right before I put this up to take it, and they gave us a really good offer. But uh-huh. the weird thing to me about iTunes is, like, my show is on iTunes, and no one, like, I get emails from people all the time. I can't, where can I see the second season? Yeah. It's on iTunes. It's a buck a episode. People write me from England and say, why won't they show your show over here? You can get it worldwide on iTunes, and nobody goes there. There's yeah. something about iTunes... People don't oh, love getting there. I don't know what it is. Oh, I mean, I know it's fuck. huge. Right, right. But I, maybe not oh, for Oh, look comedy. at Rich. He's like, oh, oh my <laughs> shit's on our CD. It's for podcasts, I think it is. No, good. I mean, my CD. It's oh, also well, no, you're not going to sell it. Oh, you're it. done. You're not I selling any of those. It's, <laughs> no, it. it went down to $4. It's, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's, Boss's CD is still empty inside. It's out today. But uh, I, I, what about... It'd be great if you get the CD and there's a, not a CD in it. There's nothing in it. Someone wrote me, is that your apartment? I mean, your house? After oh. the, our house burned down. Oh, it so, did? Yeah, in August. I'm sorry. You didn't do it. Well, <laughs> Bonnie's that, wife huh? did. His wife did. We're, no. we're convinced of it. But <laughs> uh, Third season? The, yeah, June. June? Late June. All right, we got a while. while. Nice. Fuck, I hate when you have to wait between seasons. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's that's why I love The Wire so much. I because haven't written anything. Yeah. I didn't watch The Wire when it first came out, so by the time I was I was into The Wire, yep. I, I had three seasons Marathon. in front of me mm-hmm. to have catch you, up with. I got to get, someone said, uh, you got to get this Boardwalk Empire. Is it yeah, great? a lot of people are talking about it. I still goes, this it. Boardwalk Empire. They're it's, all the kids are talking about you it. speak <laughs> of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was talking like I mean, we're in Braveheart. The season of Sons of Anarchy was <laughs> no. <laughs> no way to get information. <laughs> oh, but I also I dedicated the thing to Patrice. I don't know if any. Yeah, I saw that at the end. Yeah, really, uh, really cool. Big. Yeah, that still yeah. hurts a yep. lot. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, mm-hmm. we don't talk. We haven't talked about it as much, but it fucking yep. still hurts a lot. Yep. It's fucking horrible. There was uh, there were a lot of O and A guys out in Minneapolis at the shows, and and they were coming up and dude, our condolences, our condolences, and yeah. and a bunch of guys were like, dude, I cr- I cried when he died. They were like, I never met the guy, but I cried. Yeah, people that never yeah. met him. That's the, so weird. The fans yeah. have been fucking amazing about yeah. this whole thing because there's always assholes, no matter what is happening around here. Especially but our with, fans. But with this one man, I just didn't <laughs> see it. Everyone was shitheads. fucking. Am- they were just amazing. A couple dickheads, but. Not yeah. you know, not worth really mentioning by name. No, no. But in general, holy fuck, the love for this guy. Jesus, mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's un it's unfucking believable, man. Still. Nice. Now that we're depressed. Yeah, yeah, on sorry. a high note. Uh, Did, yeah. Everyone, everyone, get their plugs out. Uh, Caroline. Oh no, we got that promo code for you, Joe. Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, Caroline's tomorrow, <laughs> Thursday, and Sunday. I, I, we're gonna go to one of the shows. It's uh, promo code O N D A, and you'll save a whole bunch of money on your ticket. What? Lowercase. Oh, oh, all lowercase. Why did, why would that matter? Yeah, he does. Why the fuck would they do that? They should learn from Louie. Make it easy. You know what? You're ready uppercase, to... lowercase, it shouldn't matter, but it has to be lowercase. Yeah, All right. please come lowercase. out to the shows. Fuck. All right. Yes. yes. Go yes. see Joe DeRosa. He's really funny, man. Fuck yeah. yeah. Oh, really thanks. good comic. Thanks, fuck guys. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks, Louie. Yeah. Thank you. I ain't going. And Rich, we really said you were funny. <laughs> uh, the podcast went down to number nine since we've been on the radio. Get the fuck out of here. I'm man. telling you what. We used to have so much heat. Huh? We used to have so much heat. It's at number nine. No, it went from like, you went up to number good. nine. Then it means yeah. it, went it went up to number <laughs> yeah. nine. No, it oh, went from 25 It's not down. like, oh, it's number one. Oh, oh, I want to be number god. one. No, million. it doesn't go down. Oh my god. You just be fucking depressed the shit out of me. It went up. You know what I was saying. Because it went down to number nine. That means we suck. Everything I said, you fucking just discounted all the help you gave me when I was And then he tries to explain how that's going down. Fucking dummy. How is it going down from 25 to nine? We're number one. When and everyone looks at it as going up on the chart. Well, you're acting like climbing the charts has been the expression for the last 50 fucking years. <laughs> Just the press the shit out of it that way. Without a promo code. And then I'm like, fuck, we used to have heat. It's like, no, we actually did no, good you're doing by great. you today. Thank you, guys. Rolling, you good? Thank you. Why'd you come in? <laughs> I'll tell you why he I'm came in. He wants to know. Uh, if there's a woman that's uh, always cold around the house, is that what you're what you supposed to do? You know, she's always turned up the uh, thermostat. Does that happen? <sighs> you know what she'd love for the holiday? She'd love a hoodie footy pajama from Pajamagram. Oh, yes. Pajamagram.com. The super comfy pajamas. They're going to help keep it warm and looking great 
The hoodie footy combines the warmth of a hoodie with the coziness of those footy pajamas that uh, kept you so cozy when you were a little kid. There's uh, lots of great styles to choose from, including holiday prints and leopard prints for her wild side. And uh, you're both going to enjoy that gift, aren't you? They make it easy. Every hoodie footy is delivered from Pajamagram with free gift packaging inside. And uh, to order a hoodie footy, shop online at pajamagram.com. She's going to think of you every time she puts on that hoodie footy. Overnight and Christmas Day delivery are guaranteed. Visit pajamagram.com or call them 1-800-GIVE-PJs. That's pajamagram.com. Uh, everybody, um, that's it. Have a great, it better be, I'll tell you, because Sam's going to be, uh, chirping the next one. Once again, for Louie, uh, Live at the Beacon, available to stream or download yes. right now, five bucks, that's it. Don't fucking steal this. It, he, cheap, he made it nice and easy for steal. everybody. Yeah, if it was 50 bucks, then we would understand. Steal oh, the shit out of it. 50 bucks would be like, rip that Louie off. Of course. <laughs> but for break. five bucks, do it, man. Uh, you're not going to be disappointed. LouisCK.com or LouisCK.net. And, of course, you spell Louis. I just L O U I S. L with an S instead of I E. Huh? Yeah. What? Doesn't matter. You don't need to plug the tonight. L O U I S.